You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. First National Banking Company. Get checking that pays with Super Plus Checking at FNBC. Back on track. Imperial Theater to open March 17th. After suffering flood damage in 2011, the Imperial Dinner Theater is repaired and reopening by Lauren Siebert after the spring flooding that devastated the Imperial Dinner Theater along with parts of Pocahontas in April 2011. The Imperial is back on track. The Imperial Dinner Theater first began 25 years ago as a modest ballet studio in a garage, but soon grew to a school with a well-rounded arts curriculum including jazz, clogging, drama, tap and voice. The Studio for the Arts, founded in 1987 by Andy Evers, is the mother organization from which the Imperial Dinner Theater was formed. After moving from facility to facility, the organization purchased the old Imperial Movie House in downtown Pocahontas in 1994. Soon the theater outgrew its location and realized that if the theater were to continue to succeed, it would need to be capable of competing with larger venues. In 2004, the new Imperial Dinner Theater opened at its current location of 1404 Highway 304 East in Pocahontas, across from Black River Technical College. According to marketing coordinator Shane Cummings, when the flood hit, it devastated not only homes but also businesses on the east side of Pocahontas. Everything three feet and lower was destroyed by flood, Cummings said. Practically everything that is of use is below that mark, so we practically started from scratch. With no flood insurance, the board for the theater had just about given up hope. We didn't have insurance for flooding because it had been determined by the insurance company to not be located in a flood zone, Cummings said, but we applied to FEMA and now a year later we have received a check for $40,000 to help with the cost. The Imperial was severely damaged by the flood, affecting everything except the costumes which were located on the second floor of the theater. Desks, chairs, ballet bars, mirrors, drywall, files, office equipment and so much more, had to be torn out and totally replaced, Cummings said. According to Cummings, the theater, after much repair, is ready to be up and running. Our greatest desire is just to get back into the swing of things, Cummings noted. We had such a good thing going here, and the community loved coming to the theater. As the old adage goes, there is always a silver lining, according to Cummings. One good thing that had come from the devastation of the theater was the fact the theater has been able to come back bigger and better. We were able to update our look, and I believe the people will really love it even more now, Cummings said, from the ashes rises a phoenix, so to speak. According to Cummings, the theater will be holding its first show, since the flooding, in March. We open March 17th. With the comedy it runs in the family our students are ecstatic to return to their classes, Cummings said. Repairing the theater was a very worthwhile endeavor. It gives community members an affordable place to learn and be entertained. Thanks for listening to Spring River Chronicle Audio on the Go. Be sure to subscribe to the paper and check us out online at myspringriver.com.